G'day everybody, it's me again. Um, the wind has picked up here so I've had to stop work. You can't MIG weld outside when it's windy. Just get heaps of bloody porosity and heaps of bloody splattering. It's not worth the trouble so I'm going to wait till the wind dies down. So I thought I'd waffle for you guys a bit. You can see my dodgy uh, truck driver welding. Haven't broken anything yet. It'll do the trick for me. Doesn't need to hold a million tons. Anyway, they're the high up side plates that I cut the uh, the bolt holes for. We got some 8.8 uh, .8 galvanized uh, high tensile bolts and some uh, washers and nuts. These hold the two uh, bed plates on. Now, there will be another piece going across the front so it can't move in or out. Um, then uh, we've got some all thread that's going through here and here. We were going to go through there but we changed our minds. We're just going to go through the outside and uh, that's the top mounting plate. The all thread we're going to use is something similar to this but M16. I've uh, started rolling out the other side but wind got to me so I had to stop. I can't be bothered grinding and cutting and, and mucking around so you've got a bit of uh, inclusion of uh, porosity there from the wind so I thought fuck it I'll stop. I'm not the world's best welder but like I says I haven't had anything break on me yet so it's all good. I've got a general idea of what needs to be done few fabricator friends to give me some hints on the way get the machine set up right things like that now the reason I've been doing the videos on this higher mounting is because I can't remember his name but he wanted to know um, the general way of doing it you know and I just say uh, make sure everything's really strong bolts do a lot nice and make sure you use everything that's uh, well rated for the job that's my big mig a separate wire feeder and yeah that's only the little crane there the little red crane that's going on but uh, you still need to mount it in such a way that it can't move and that uh, of course it can't break off when you're lifting something because that would be disastrous Ferrari 560 lifts about uh, 750 kilos at about 7 meters so it's only a baby but it'll do the job Anyway, that's it. Just a short little update while I'm waiting for the wind to go away. Typical. Anyway, thanks for watching.